good day, A level student. Today, we delve into the intricate realms of immunity, exploring the fascinating mechanism that safeguards our bodies against external threats. Join me as we unravel the complexities of our immune system, understanding its vital roles in maintaining health and combating diseases. The immune system. The human immune system is made up of the organs and tissue, and it is responsible for destroying pathogens inside the bodies. And two main group of cells involved in immune system is phagocyte and lymphocyte. Phagocytes, which ingest and digest pathogens or infected cells. Lymphocytes recognize specific pathogens through interaction with receptors in their cell surface membrane and respond in one of several ways. Example, while doing secreting antibodies. Phagocyte produced in bone marrow by mitotic division of precursor cells. And this produces cells that develop into monocytes or neutrophils. Monocytes are inactive cells which circulate in the body. They leave the blood for a reason being of encountering, encountering chemical signal indicating that bacteria or viruses are present. And on top of that, as monocytes mature, they develop RUR, Georgie apparatus, and lysosomes. When they leave the blood, they become macrophages. They engulf bacteria by endocytosis and digest them inside phagosome. Monocytes and macrophages can live for several months. And precursor cells live in bone marrow, which produce neutrophil, and they travel in blood. They leave the blood in large numbers at sites of infection and anger and digest bacteria in similar way to microphage. And a neutrophil leaves for only a few days. Phagocytes are able to act against any invading organism and their response is non specific And the lymphocyte, unlike phagocyte, acts against specific pathogen. Each lymphocyte contains a set of genes that codes for production of particular types of receptor. B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte are made in bone marrow, and B lymphocyte spread through the body and suckle in lymph nodes, although some continue to circulate in blood. T lymphocyte collect in the thymus gland where they mature before spreading into the seed area as the lymphocyte. And the thymus gland disappear at around the time of poverty. And both types of lymphocytes have a large rounded nucleus that take up most of the cells. And during maturation process, any lymphocyte that produce receptors that would bind with those on the body own cells are destroyed, meaning that remaining lymphocytes will act against non-self molecules that are not normally found in the body. Non-cells molecules such as those on the surface of invading bacteria are called antigen. Several different types of cells, including microphages, place antigens of pathogens they have encountered in their cell surface membranes, where there is a good chance that the B lymphocyte and T lymphocyte may encounter them. These cells are called antigen presenting cells. Let's look into actions of B lymphocyte. This is the diagram how the response of B lymphocytes to antigen. So the B cells display a specific receptor to the antigen on the bacterium. And they indicate why is actually the antibody. And the B cells meet its specific antigen either on the microphage or on the bacterium. And after From the bacterium, so the purpose of B lymphocyte, let it be clear, B lymphocytes or B cells are a type of white blood cells that play a key role in the immune system. 
their primary actions involve producing antibodies, proteins that can recognize and bind to specific antigens molecule on the surface of pathogens. And this process which helps neutralize or eliminate pathogens, making them for destructions by other immune cells. Additionally, B cells contribute to the formation of immunological memory, providing a faster and more effective immune response upon subsequent encounter with the same pathogen. And this is the process how the B cells, the response of B lymphocyte to antigen. So when the phagocytosis by an antigen pres presenting cells, example microfish, and then this is the antigen of the bacterium are placed in the cell surface membrane. These are the antigen. When this antigen interface and B cells display a receptors specific to the antigen on the bacterium, this is the flow how it looks like. The B is activated and divide to produce plasma cells which secrete antibodies or membrane cells which remain in the blood. So as as an explanation, B lymphocyte places specific receptor molecule in the cell surface membrane. And then if it is encountered an antigen that binds with this receptor B lymphocyte, is activated. And it divides repeatedly by mitosis to produce clone of genetically identical plasma cells. Some of this synthesis and secret large quantity of protein called immunoglobulins or antibodies. The antibodies have the same binding site and specific receptor in B lymphocytes membrane, so they can bind with antigens that is can make easier for phagocyte to destroy them. And some of the clone of B lymphocyte cells become membrane cells. They remain in the blood for many years. They are able to divide rapidly to produce plasma cells with the same antigen invade the body cells. And antibodies are therefore secreted more rapidly than when the first invasion happened and likely pathogens were destroyed before they have a chance to reproduce. And the person become immune to pathogen. Let's look into the actions of T lymphocyte. T lymphocyte or T cells play a crucial role in the immune system also. They identify and destroy infected or abnormal cells by recognizing specific antigens. The T cells can be cytotoxic, meaning that kill infected cells directly, or it become a helper to assist other immune cells. Additionally, regula regulatory T cells that maintain immune system balance by suppressing excessive responses. Let's look into what are the the actions taken in in the in relation to the response of T lymphocyte to antigens. T lymphocytes include T helper cells and T killer cells. Both of these cells place the specific receptor in their cell surface membrane. And on encountering the relevant antigen, they are activated and divide by mitosis to form a clone. Activated T helper cells secrete chemicals called cytokines. This will stimulate B lymphocytes to produce plasma cells and stimulate monocytes and macrophages to attack and destroy pathogens. The activated of T killer cells attach to body cells that display the antigen matching their receptor. This happens when the body cells has been invaded by a virus. So the T killer cell will destroy the infected body cell. Some of the clone of T cells become memory cells, which remain in the body and can react swiftly if the same pathogen invades again. So these are the process. The response of the T lymphocyte to antigens. You can see this are the diagram. So this is actually represent uh, the T killer the T killer cells, and the T cells become activated and divide to produce T helper cells. The T killer cells depending on the nature of the original T cells or T mineral cells. And after that, the T killer cells meet a specific antigen on the surface of the infected cell. From these T killer cells and T helper cells secrete cytokine to stimulate 
phagocytic cells and be lymphocytes. And from this, it will produce the tubular cells, kill the cell, it's attached to it. So these are the diagram as per explanations on the right hand side. And let's look into the antibodies, immune, immunity, active, and passive. Antibodies or immunoglobulin are glycoproteins which is produced by the immune system to recognize and neutralize pathogens. Meanwhile, immunity refer to the body ability to resist or defend against harmful microorganisms, diseases, and pathogens. It involves a complex network of cells, tissue, and organs that work together to protect the body. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and sufficient sleep contribute to a healthy immune system. And active immunity is generated when the body's immune system responds to an antigen creating a memory of it for future protections. Meanwhile, passive immunity occurs when antibodies are transferred from one individual to another, providing immediate but temporary protections without the recipient immune response. With that being said, that's all for today's presentation. I hope that you subscribe to John Study Life channel because there will be more videos will be posted in this video with regards to A level and hope that you really understand with the presentation slide and hope that to see this to see you in the next presentation and the next topic. Thank you very much for listening.